Some of you may be asking, what is going on with Eric Armstead? He's currently still on the roster, but we found out yesterday or the day before even that he was supposed to be released and that still hasn't come. Now, we also understand that these moves don't become all this legal tampering and all the signings being announced. They don't actually kick into place until tomorrow because that is actually when the new league year begins tomorrow. So is that the time that we are going to find out that Eric Armstead has been released or are there other things going on? Maybe even a potential trade materializing for Eric Armstead. I think that is something that we have to consider when we are thinking about what Eric Armstead's future is. And not only that, maybe there's a chance, maybe a slight chance, Eric Armstead even returns to the San Francisco 49ers. Very interesting, but Diana Russini hopped on with Tolbert and Copes. You even had Mike Silver filling in uh, for Tolbert, and Mike Silver has been on fire so far. Uh, throughout this process of calling some stuff. And um, Diana, who's phenomenal with The Athletic, at, and she's been breaking news left and right uh, the last two days, has some interesting um, thoughts and has been hearing some interesting things on Eric Armstead. Take a listen right here. She joined KMBR. Uh, Eric Armstead sounds like he's going to be released tomorrow. Any reason Niner fans should get their hopes up for a potential return? Well, I think there's always a possibility, but the reality is he actually has a market and there are teams interested in, in bringing him in. I know of a few right now that are having internal discussions about possibly signing him. So, look, I, I think if he gets a better offer and a better opportunity, he's going to have to take it. But um, if I was a betting person, I would say that Eric Armstead's days as a San Francisco 49er uh, are, 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 most, are most likely over. So we'll see where he winds up. But that's the interesting thing with, with free agency here is I know we're at a time right now where uh, it's been a little quiet, but I have found over the years from doing this, um, you know, all of a sudden things start moving really quick again. Uh, and this is, you know, going to be the, I'd say probably like the third wave is about to happen. I feel like, I know you guys don't really get snow out there, but here we do. And it feels <laughs> like a, another snowstorm is about to barrel through here. So um, we'll see where he lands. I think there are multiple things to unpack here, but I think the number one thing that I'm unpacking is the fact that she is alluding to other teams being interested in Eric Armstead. So if there are other teams interested in Eric Armstead for a player who has yet to be released, but has been announced to be released, could this be the, the, the beginning of a trade materializing? And my example for this, I talked about this earlier on a live, was Joe Mixon. Joe Mixon was announced to be released. Uh, they signed Zach Moss, and then right when they announced the signing of Zach Moss, the announcement came through. Joe Mixon, running back for the Bengals, has been released. And then we find out, uh, I think it might have been the next day. It's all blurring together at this point. But we found out at a later time, no, hold on one second. The Houston Texans are trading a draft pick for Joe Mixon. So this happens from time to time during this period where we hear X player is getting released and then, oh, development. Actually, this team came in late and traded for said player. So when Diana Russini says there are teams interested in Eric Armstead, to me, that's more of the lines of, oh, could there be a potential trade that is bubbling up here? Um Maybe, maybe, uh, we'll see. Maybe there's still a chance that the, uh, 49ers ultimately just release him flat out tomorrow, or do they hit him with the post June 1st designation, uh, that would allow them more space, uh, in regards to cap. I think there's a bunch of questions here, but also the other thing is, is that she didn't rule out the return of Eric Armstead. That would be crazy. Honest, I Listen, we've covered the San Francisco 49ers for a long time. We saw Jimmy Garoppolo return. He was practicing on the side field. 
he he wasn't even allowed to practice with the team. He was he was over. He had to go go over in the corner because he was theoretically not with the team, but still on the team. He returned. So if Jimmy Garoppolo can return, Eric Armstead can return. So I think that being said, there are still some options here. There are still some things that need to be ironed out. And I think it's still a little bit up in the air. And could we potentially see a trade materialize? That is going to be, I think, the interesting question here with what's going on with Eric Ormstead. Is it a trade? Is it a potential restructure and return? Does Eric Armstead go out and potentially talk with some other teams and the other teams are asking him the same thing and they're telling him the same things in regards to pay structure and then he realizes, well, I could just stay with my current team, stay where what I know, stay at home and just take the, the pay cut because it appears no other team in the NFL would pay me comparable uh, to what, you know, I'm currently getting, I think you get the thought process here. So this is fascinating to me because from my perspective, I thought Eric Armstead has been gone. We've said our goodbyes. We've made our goodbye posts. We're trying to think of how to backfill that position. But hey, she's like, well, if I was a betting person, I think he's out of here. But again, uh, no definitive language. Um, I think those that's the one key thing that you just got to kind of pay attention to with the insiders is, is there definitive language being used? And if not, there's a lot of gray area. And so that's just the way that I'm interpreting it. And we've seen the NFL is a crazy business. A lot of crazy things can happen. I have mentioned the situation with Jimmy Garoppolo. Why couldn't that happen with Eric Armstead? If you could agree to a pay, that's what Jimmy did. He he restructured the contract, took a pay cut, turned it into incentive. Like he, that's why he stayed. Could the, the 49ers do that with Eric Armstead? Maybe. Are they trading Eric Armstead? Maybe. Are they flat out releasing him? Maybe. What do you think? What did, what did you hear from Diana Rossini kind of explaining that? I would like to hear from you in the comments below. And as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more updates. Definitely my NFL experience uh, is relatable, you know, to a lot of guys on our team. And um, just being able to share that experience and share that knowledge of, you know, being on bad teams and going 2-14 and 14 and dealing with injuries and having to overcome, uh, you know, different adversity through my career and um, you know definitely those are things that you know players can learn from and I can talk to them about and you know kind of share in those experiences and if there's something that they're going through as well too I can be uh, a mentor and you know I've been there I know how that feels and um, you know there's light at the end of the tunnel and um, yeah so I like you know been here longer than uh you're the longest right yeah been here longer than they there everybody <laughs> on the team you're coaches, the og og right coaches now. included yeah i think there's a few equipment staff and yeah. some executives some you know executives and athletic trainers but besides that i'm the only one that's been here so <laughs>